Hey clouds, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I decided to create two separate Halloween looks this year and I decided to go with Minnie Mouse and also this Frankenstein's Bride look. Now these looks were super fun and kind of easy to create into each other and I'm going to show you guys how to do them right now. So starting off with the Minnie Mouse tutorial first, I am taking my SKY Beauty Co. liner. This is the lightest shade that I have, the lip liner I should say. This is Maple. And I'm just using that to outline and really give me a base for the crown part of where like the ears should be. Now get this guys, this is a new product. I am about to release it next month, November 11th. This is my first ever eyeliner and guys it is so precise and amazing. But anyways, back to the tutorial. I'm using the liquid eyeliner to just draw over the little shape that I made and then just really filling it in. Now I like to use this liner just because it's so precise and it was really good at getting in those, see those edges. Now I'm just going to darken it up and I don't want to use all my liner so I am using some black eyeshadow to really blend it all in and make it look uniform. So as you can see my little baby hairs keep getting in the way and it's just really annoying so make sure you tie your hair back properly before you do this. But now we are just outlining the look with some concealer making sure everything looks all perfect and straight lines. Next we're going to be moving on to foundation. So I'm using the Il Maquillage foundation which I'll be using the Il Maquillage concealer this whole video. So I'm just doing a base of foundation, making sure it blends in really good. Very light, not really too colorful because Minnie Mouse is like one color basically. Now we're going to contour a little bit on the nose and where you normally would contour. I'm going to do the eyebrows because we're going to cover up the eyebrows here soon. So yeah, basically just blended it all in and now we're going to work on some fake long lashes. Now I really love this part because it was super fun, but... When I closed my eyes or blinked, as you can see, it kind of smudged everywhere, so I, that was my bad. But anyways, we're going to make that go away with some concealer, and yeah, we won't even talk about it. <laughs> see? Problem solved. So now, this is also a new product that I've been working on, and this will also be launched November 11th. This is our new Lash Extending Mascara. So yeah, go check it out on November 11th. We're just going to fix the eyes up with a little more eyeliner and then see what I was talking about. I just kind of put more concealer on my eyebrows to make them go away. Not really go away, just to like blend them in. Now we're working on the other eye and I'm just showing you guys in detail what I did. Mascara, concealer, and then we're just going to blend it all in so it looks uniform. Now we're going to be working on the nose and the nose is very tricky because you want it to be like a perfect circle. So that's what I'm trying to do here, but if not, you know, go ahead and take a makeup wipe and remove some excess product. Now this is when it starts looking super, super real is when you put concealer around the nose and really just blend it all throughout your nose so it looks like your nose is in your face, kind of like a little Minnie Mouse. So the hardest part of this look for me was the lips. I was not sure what I wanted to do with the lips. Minnie Mouse just has like a black smile line as her lips and I kind of wanted to give her some color so I figured why not do a kind of smile line and outline the lips and then do lipstick in, in the middle. So I'm not sure if I really liked how that turned out, but I mean, I think it was cute, but I definitely want to see what you guys come up with. So definitely tag me on Instagram if you guys do a Minnie Mouse look similar. So yeah, see, this is what I'm doing, just outlining the lips and making them like kind of smile a little bit. Now I'm just taking this YNY shade, which is just the perfect lipstick shade, especially for these two lips looks lip looks. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it's just so nice and precise. And I definitely think it made it like give me a Minnie Mouse red vibe. So here I am just cleaning up the smile lines. And now I'm going in with my Luna Skylighter, which is our new mineral powders. And they're so amazing. And I definitely think they made this look transform into like a cartoony 3D Minnie Mouse version of this look. Because if not, the face would have been flat. And yeah, I think it just really completes the look. Look at that highlight. It's so pretty and it's just my favorite. I literally wear this highlighter every day, guys. Luna Skylighter. Shop now. But anyways, definitely for a look like this, highlighter is a must. So definitely get your face glowing for the gods because it's a must. So now we're just kind of going in and slightly bronzing up our face with some bronzer, but not too much, just lightly, lightly. Now I'm taking my nude lip gloss and I'm just putting a little bit on my lips. And then here we go. Full Minnie Mouse transformation in three, two. Just kidding. So you see that little hairline right there? You see that? We're going to darken that up with some black eyeshadow. And this really just makes everything completely blend in to where it looks like the ears are kind of attached to your head. So yeah, as you can see here soon, we are Minnie Mouse. Now also, my baby hairs, you know, they're super annoying, but I did not notice them. We're just going to pretend that they're not there. 
Everything looks so uniform and just so cute. Again, what would you guys do for the lip? If you guys do this look, let me know. I definitely want to see what you guys come up with. So I wasn't really sure how many mouths would do her hair, so I kind of just left my hair the way it was. But you can definitely like do all kinds of fun hairstyles, curl your hair, put it up in a bun, and all kinds of fun things. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can go from this to this. Well, not really. You can do both looks or you can do either look. And really, it's up to you. I just wanted to give you guys some inspiration and some fun creative looks for this Halloween. So we're taking off this little Minnie Mouse costume and we are going to erase the little nose part, which I'm going to leave it red just because it's going to like kind of be perfect for the look that I'm going with. So taking away from the Minnie Mouse part, we're just filling in and tracing out the part like of the face that I'm going to want that looks damaged. Now, when I drew this, I really liked the fact that it kind of looked not filled in and it looked really cool. But then I realized I'd have to fill it in anyways because I did the lashes too long. So yeah, here we are filling it in with some black ink. And really just getting that zigzag going, trying to make it look like her face was stapled together or it's missing or it's trying to come out. You'll see here soon what I mean. Now this is easier to do with the black liner just because it's such a huge surface and it's honestly faster than the eyeshadow so we're just doing that and now I'm taking my sandy lip liner and we're just going to trace like little things that would look like stitches the reason why I'm doing sandy liner first is just because the dark brown or not the dark yeah no this is sandy the dark brown gives it the um like it gives it like that 3d effect to make it look like it's a part of your skin but we're going to be going over it here soon with the there we go with the black liner this again see it just looks more 3d and it looks like it's coming out of your skin a little tiny bit so now I'm taking some red eyeshadow just to make it look like blood and really just putting it around all the spots that I feel like would be bleeding this is a cool part because I liked the side of the face looked and kind of looked like the blood was dripping down so then I got inspiration from that and then I decided to do my eye like my eye was bleeding or something because as you can see the this side of the face would be more damaged since it's like kind of all gone so yeah we're just making that side of the face more damaged and then the other side of the Frankenstein's bride's face would be a little a little kind of perfect now again I'm taking some brown shadow and just kind of deepening and just giving it that 3d effect or giving it that dimension effect that I'm looking for just really blending that in with a small blendable flat brush now I'm taking some the lightest shade of foundation that I have. This is just like a Chanel foundation. And I'm just going in and overlapping what I just did. Again, it just adds dimension and makes that look like really pop. You'll see here soon what I mean, especially when it gets like all globby up top right here. So watch. It'll look like it's actually like coming out. And then you just want to go over it a little bit. I didn't want to use my new eyeliner, so I just grabbed a new, a different eyeliner, not a new one because I didn't want foundation on my new eyeliner. But yeah, now we are going in with a green color just to make it look like Frankenstein's Bride. You know, that green skin or that slime is coming out. You can't be tamed. Now we are just going to sew up her smile like it was stitched or something and add stitches all around wherever you see fit. Really play around with it just because it's super easy and fun. Sorry about that, my phone went off. Now I'm taking my Y&Y lipstick and I'm coloring in the heart that I did. Now I forgot that my dress is like kind of covering my chest when I put it on so you really didn't need to do that but I think it adds the effect of like, oh shoot, she is Frankenstein's brain. So yeah, here we are. Now I'll be right back. There we go. So see, it just looks all complete but we're not done yet. I'm taking that Everything Everywhere Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall Jenner and I'm just applying it to wherever things should be like gooey and icky and like Especially the lips. I think the lips just, ugh, look so good. So yeah, this is the final result. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You definitely want to play around with the wig. If you're wearing a wig or even if you're doing your hair, definitely do it like crazy because again, it's Frankenstein's Bride. I forget to do it until like later on when I'm doing the intro of this video. But it is Frankenstein's Bride and the hair should be a little crazy. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I'll show you guys what I mean here soon. It just really does, yeah, see, I'm playing around with the hair, and it just really does give that effect like, oh, that is actually Frankenstein's Bride. She's alive. <laughs> so yeah, this is just the stuff I created for the intro, and I figured you guys would want to see. So I hope you guys love these looks. Let me know if you guys recreate any of these looks or get inspiration from these looks. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and yeah, leave a comment. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you later.